Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am Arif, your cloud learning journey partner. In today's video, I'm going to discuss about top 5 cloud certifications that will definitely help you to land a very good job related to cloud. So before starting a video, I just want to talk about my background. Well, I do have more than eight years of experience in uh, cloud technology and also in cybersecurity. I have worked for multiple companies such as IBM in my uh, journey so far. So uh, the things that I'm going to mention today all are from my personal experiences. So without further delay, let's get started. The first certificate in this list is AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. Even for me, when I started my cloud journey, this is, was the first certification. And uh, trust me, this certificate helped me a lot to actually uh, land for uh, cloud-related jobs. And uh, this is a very good starting point for anyone who wants to pursue a career in cloud. So let's look into the overview. So the level is associate level and the length of the exam is 130 minutes the cost is 150 usd which is very reasonable because if you compare other certifications they are way expensive but uh, this certification is all prestigious plus is uh, super affordable so for that reason i really like this certification the exam format is a multiple choice and multiple response basis and 65 questions you have to answer uh, you can uh, sit for the exam by online center or also you can just easily go to one of the vendors and just uh, sit for the exam uh, uh, here you will get some more overview of the exam so what i'll do i will uh, paste this link in my description so you guys can easily find this link and from here you can get a lot of information you can download the exam guide even you can also download the sample questions so once you feel like you're ready for the exam you can just download the sample questions and try to solve it and uh, in this way you will be able to uh, understand your uh, competency level so it will definitely help you and uh, also, I want to mention one thing that is whenever we're talking about cloud, there are three major players. The first one is AWS, second one is Azure, and third is Google. So if you know these three clouds, then you are in a very good position. So in nowadays, if you know multiple cloud, then you are more valuable compared to other person who just only know one cloud. The second certificate that I'm going to suggest to pursue is uh, AZ104, Microsoft Azure Administrator. This is also associate level certification and here you can see the details. It's, uh, the exam fee is 165 USD which is also reasonable. So uh, and also here you can see the domain that you need to cover to pass the certification. Specifically you have to cover five different domain to pass the certification and the good thing about the certification is that there are two ways to prepare one is self-paced lab self-paced and another is instructor led so for self-paced this is uh, free material you can just uh, go through each and of each one of this module to actually uh, learn for this certification also my certification preparation strategy is to actually go through at least two to three different sorts of materials so it really helps to actually uh, minimize the gaps of your understanding so maybe you can look for udemy coursera or even some free youtube videos from any good channel so it will definitely help you to uh, get fully prepared for certification and uh, once you pass the certification then it is a kind of like credential that yes you do have the basic understanding or you do have the expertise to actually uh, get a job in this specific field for whenever i'm going for a certification my initial goal is to actually learn the technology certification is just uh, not a piece of paper it's more of a like learning journey so if you pursue certification in that manner it will definitely help you to actually grow faster in your career the third certification that I'll suggest to pursue is uh, Google Associate Cloud Engineer certification. This is also a very good certification. So this Associate Cloud Engineer exam assesses your ability to set up cloud solution environment, deploy and implement a cloud solution, configure access and security, plan and configure cloud solution, and ensure successful operation of a cloud solution. So if you 
understand all of this concept that means you can easily deploy application on google cloud and you can uh, configure it uh, pretty well so this is a very good certification to have if we look into the certification overview so it's a two hours exam and the registration fee is 125 which is cheaper compared to other previous two certification that's good and the exam format is still the same like the multiple select questions and uh, you can take the exam online proctored exam or you can go to the test center to actually uh, sit for the exam well personally i prefer online proctored exam in this way you are quite comfortable with your own environment then you can focus fully on the exam so i prefer this way if you have a stable internet connection so i think it's a very good way to go for the certification and save some also time to go to the test center and there is no prerequisite, so you don't have to take any prior certification to pass the certification. And recommend experience a six month handsome experience on with Google Cloud. So one very key thing to remember in here, whenever you're going for any cloud certification, it's really important to have hands-on experience. At the very first day of your uh, learning journey, you have to create account for your uh, for your certification so if you are going for this google certification google cloud you have to create a google cloud account and you have to deploy multiple services you need to know how to configure it so it's not about the bookish knowledge it's more of a hands-on experience because once you have the certification and uh, you are uh, hired for a job so the employer will expect you to actually configure things your bookish knowledge will help you to actually understand the core concept but you need to have that hands-on experience without the hands the experience this certification won't add that much value okay so please try to understand how things work and question yourself that if i want to do things like this is it even possible so you have to know ins and out of the console cloud console and it will definitely help you a very good cloud engineer and this is uh, the exam overview and some other uh, key important things about the certification. And uh, I'll definitely uh, add all of these links under the description section of my video. So you guys can find all of this in, link in single place and you can study your cloud certification journey. Well, so far we have covered three associate level certification from three different vendors, AWS, Azure and Google Cloud. So now after taking these three certification, you will definitely have the associate level uh, experience for each of the major cloud, which is great. At this point, you are definitely a very valuable uh, candidate for any sort of cloud related jobs. Uh, after having this associate uh, certification, then we need to focus, we need to be specialized specifically for a specific cloud because it's good to know all the cloud, but you must have to be specialized in any one specific cloud. Well, for me, if you ask me which cloud is uh, good to go with, um, if we look into the market, Currently, AWS is the biggest player in the cloud industry. So uh, there are a lot of more jobs related to AWS cloud compared to other clouds, but other clouds are also uh, developing very fast and more and more jobs are coming the market. But as an industry leader, I think it's a better option to actually be master of AWS cloud first and then move to other clouds. The fourth certification that I'm gonna suggest is the AWS Certified CSOP Administrator Associate and this is also associate, associate level certification and uh, it's pretty similar to the system uh, this to the solutions architect exam overview it's 150 usd 180 minutes of time and all are multiple choice question and you can take the exam by uh, proctor exam or also you can take the exam uh, in person so here you will see all the important uh, notes like exam overview and AWS white papers that are important related to this uh, certification and uh, this certification is really good so this certification will expand your knowledge so you have uh, uh, you, you will have a very good understanding of AWS cloud after having the AWS solutions architect associate and this uh, CSOP administrator will help to actually complete the knowledge it will help you to understand how can we um, secure our AWS infrastructure, how can we monitor it, how can we make sure that our system is fully fault tolerant. So it, once you have 
AWS Solutions Architect Associate and CSOP Administrator Associate Certification. That means you are definitely at a professional level of your cloud journey. Completing the four certification, then I'm gonna suggest you to go for some professional certification because now you have that associate level knowledge. Now you need to go for some professional certification. Okay, so then the fifth certification that I'm suggesting is AWS Certified Solutions Architect Professional and trust me this is a very good certification and uh, once you have this credential under your belt uh, you will get noticed a lot from your potential employer from hr department so uh, this certification is really renowned in uh, it industry so the level is professional level and the length is uh, 180 minutes that means three hours the cost is 300 usd and uh, the format said five questions so one thing to mention in here one when i was uh, sitting for this exam the exam questions were very big in size so there are multiple paragraphs for a single question so you have to read a lot during the exam so you need to be well prepared and all are scenario based questions so you need to really understand the ins and out of the cloud especially aws console how things are working you need to know the best practices you need to know the cloud security best practices you need to know how can you merge multiple services together to actually achieve a certain goal so you need to know a lot about uh, about cloud aws console and here you can see here you can download the exam guide and you can also download the sample questions like before and once you do have this certification then uh, definitely you are a star so uh, my suggestion would be please go for the associate level certification first once you are done with the associate level certification then you can go for the professional one in this way you'll have the previous knowledge which will help you to pass the professional certification and uh, there is no prerequisite to sit for this professional exam but uh, it's always good to actually go for the associate first because uh, definitely you need to learn a technology uh, just holding a certification is not good enough in current industry congratulations for reaching to this far of this video so now at this point of the video i'm going to share some strategies that i always follow to whenever i'm going for any certification you know certification is not a sprint it's more of a marathon that i believe so whenever you are going for certification you need to make a routine that yes i can allocate one hour according to your time flexibility you can allocate one hour two hours of your day and every day you're gonna sit for the reading you have to just continue it every day so if you do it every day basis if you sit for the uh, studying and if you learn by daily basis then it will definitely uh, make a habit and uh, it will be easier for you to actually complete the vast size of the syllabus so for me once i feel like yes now i'm gonna go for this certification i make a routine and i follow the routine no matter what happens in life i know there are a lot of uncertainties you will have a busy day you feel like today yeah i'm so tired to actually uh, sit for one hour of this study but uh, if you want to achieve something in life then you have to be very much sure and focused that yeah i need it and i'm gonna do whatever it takes if you are true to yourself and uh, you know exactly what you want from life then definitely will uh, make a way to actually achieve it so that's my ideology so whenever i feel like i need this certification uh, just i just uh, make myself ready to actually go through the whole process and uh, i always my way of learning is that i always want to know how it works i enjoy the journey of uh, a learning process for me certification is uh, good to have but having the knowledge is the most valuable thing to do if you guys have any questions or concerns related to this certification please feel free to send me a, a comment under this comment section and uh, i can assure you 100 percent i will reply you back and uh, i hope this video helped you guys to actually uh, list down your uh, certification list related to cloud I want to build a cloud community where we will share our ideas maybe in some specific sector you know better than me you can guide me to actually do things better and in sub sector i can guide you so in this way we'll all work together to become a very good cloud engineer and achieve our career goals 
so that's all for today thank you guys for watching my videos and have a great and wonderful day bye for now